Um, and then if you do need to do ADR, um, this is what I would suggest. In the video modules, there is a how to do ADR video. Watch that and you can actually do it very simply in Pro Tools. This is, um, I will show you really quickly how we do it here. So here, DXC ADR. So I've already set up a track. We're gonna record ADR, right? So I want it to be, I wanna record ADR over this line right here. So I solo it so I could hear what the line is. Okay, that sounds good. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, sounds good. I want to ADR that. Let's listen to it again. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, the standard way to do it is make sure you've got a nice big screen to look at whether it's a whole monitor or just making the screen on the Pro Tools window bigger, like here. Okay, that sounds good. And whatever is selected, you see I use the little hand tool, the grabber tool, whatever selected is what plays. Okay, that sounds good. Using that knowledge, click on it. Now let's go down to, and you'll see that up here the start time is one hour 20 one minute 20 seconds two frames it also says that in the video window so what we do down here is where this is selected we go down to the ADR track and we click on well this is what we do first we create what we call beeps we take our select, first let's zoom in a little bit. We take our selector tool and we literally just create something that's about two frames. And you know that because in your counter up here, it says length. This information, start, end, and length is whatever your selection is. So if I go like this, those numbers sh show me where the start of this selection is, where the end of the selection is, and how long it is. So right now, I am going to make a just a two-frame selection. Let's see. I'm going to make a two-frame selection right here. So you hit the keys Shift, Control, Option, or Alt if you're on a PC. Three, Shift, Control, Option Alt 3. One more time. Shift Control Option Alt 3. And let's zoom in and see what it did. It created a beep. Let's listen to that. It's so it was so quick we couldn't even hear it. Oh, I gotta solo it. We need three of those, and you'll see why in just a second. So you copy it. So this is what I do. You copy it. So look here. So the start of it is at is at one thirteen twenty two. The way you do is this: copy, and then just select anywhere afterwards, paste, and select anywhere after that, paste. Now we've got three of them, correct? So click on the first one with your grabber tool. Look up at your counter we'll see that this first beep starts at 113.22. So let's go into spot mode. If this begins at 113.22, we want each of these one second apart, like one, two, three, and I'll show you why. If this one begins at 113.22, go into spot mode, click on the second one. And now since we're in spot mode, we could say where we want to put it. So let's have this one begin at 114.22. And then let's have the third one begin at 01.01.15.22. So now they are each three seconds apart. I'm sorry, they're each one second apart. And let me make this a little smaller so we can see what we're doing. 
if you'll remember the line that we're trying to take care of is let's see here it's this line I believe that begins at 1 01 01 20 02 so what I want to do an eye itch there is let's see here go into slip mode basically basically shift select all three go up to clip and make them a group and watch what happens i've now just made a beep 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 standalone file now we know that this clip that we want to ADR over starts at 01, 01, 20, 02. So that means if we want this to go 1, 2, 3, and then begin speaking, this needs to happen 3 seconds before. So if this starts at 01, 01, 20, 02, that means that this last clip should land at 01, 01, 19, 02. So, go here, spot, click on it, endpoint, 01011902, and now, listen, oops, get, get out of spot mode, now listen to it. Okay. That sounds good. He hesitates a little bit, so maybe we just do it right. Okay. Okay. So actually, he says okay right at 101.21.01. So we want this to end at 01.01.20.01. So. Go into spot mode and make the end of this grouped clip of beeps 01012001. And now go into slip mode so it doesn't happen. Now let's listen to it. Three, two, one. Okay. okay. That sounds good. So what you do now is you record it. So what you do is select the spot that you want to record over. You don't want to record over this track, but you want to record over this area on the ADR track. So what you do is go over here, and you'll see that this button says Track Record Enable. If I click on this, oops, I have to let it know that I'm using a microphone. There we go. If I click on this, that's letting Pro Tools know, see my meter there, that this one track is now going to be recorded upon. None of these other tracks will be recorded upon. Even if I select this one, this is the one down here that's going to be recorded upon because I have enabled this track. I'm just letting Pro Tools know this is the area of the timeline from this point to this point that I want to record over, but on this track. And then what you want to do is, you want to hear those beeps, right? So... I'll show you how to see that. Go up to Window, Transport. That brings up your Transport window, which is looks very familiar. It looks like this part of the of the uh, Pro Tools window right here, but it's got more um, basically more buttons. This is the button you want. Pre-roll. Think about it. If someone said said I'm recording, speak, you'd be like, whoa. You need to have a couple seconds to get into it, and you need the timing. Three, two, one, speak. That is what the pre-roll is. We made that little three, that, that those three little beeps, which are, it's like a three-second duration. Boop, boop, boop. We need to tell Pro Tools we want to start recording from this point to this point based on the selection. But we wanted to, we want 
basically the tape to roll three seconds prior to that. So we can like get into it. Three, two, one, boom. And then we say the line. So we need to put in a pre-roll. We just click up here of three seconds. And then once we do that, we've record enabled. We just solo the, tr we, uh, and we unsolo everything. Make our video picture nice and big. And then go up to your transport window, hit the record button. And then once I hit play, watch what happens. Okay. okay. That's me. I just recorded that. It went boop, boop, boop on the pre-roll, and then it started recording. So let's listen to that and watch his face. I don't think I did it that well, but let's watch. So I'll turn the pre-roll off, and let's listen to it. Oop, we, do, we don't want to record over it, though. You always have to turn your record enable off. Because when you, if you don't, you could record over it. So turn it off, and then select what you want to listen to, and then go. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that worked because he spoke it very softly, and I'm very much in your face. Okay. No problem. All you got to do is do it again. Record enable. Turn your pre-roll on. Remember, we set it for three seconds so we can hear those three little beeps. And then, again, set the area of the timeline you want to record over. We want to record over this line. But on this track, do, which is just how we had it set before, and now we're just going to record over it. So go back up to record. Hit play. Okay. <laughs> I tried doing it softer that time. So let's turn off our pre-roll, unenable the track, click on it, and let's listen again. Okay. <laughs> it works, actually. It kind of works. Okay. You get the idea. And then what you can do is, since it's Pro Tools, you just go in slip mode. You can say, you know what? I, mean, I was about a half second too early. Well, just go up to your nudge. Oops. Maybe nudge it by a frame this way. Oops, sorry. This way a little bit. Play that. Okay. That was better. I nudged it three frames to the right. It was great. You can also just take the hand and move it around manually as well. So that's the basics of how to do ADR in Pro Tools. Um, my computer is, makes a really loud fan noise. And it's literally like an arm's length away from me. So if you listen to the headphones, you'll probably hear it. You don't want that sort of situation if you're doing ADR. So hopefully your computer doesn't make a lot of noise. Um, hopefully you're in a room that's well insulated and doesn't have a lot of reverb. Um, try and do this in a setting where there's not a lot of extraneous noise. And you could do ADR right at home. And everything I just did, you can do in Premiere as well. Um, same sort of thing. You make those little beep, beep, beep noises and then hit record. Um, but this is how you do it in Pro Tools. So good luck and I uh, hope that sort of brought you up to speed. All right.